just a note, if anyone, there's a, bit, a misprint of the program, um, there are no pesticide credits available for this session. So if you're looking for pesticide credits, you want to head over to the CHS room. All right, let's get started. We've got our first presenter is Menos Karki with WSU. He's presenting Mechanism for Bundling and Tying of Red Raspberry Primacanes. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Um, my, I'm Manus Karki from Washington State University, Center for Precision and Automated Agricultural Systems. Over the last few years, through the funding from the uh, Red Raspberry Commission, as well as uh, some funding from the state of uh, uh, Washington State Department of Agriculture, we've been doing some um, mechanization efforts in terms of bundling and tying red raspberry cans, and, and I'll be presenting that. But uh, before before everything else, I would also like to update uh, the that the stakeholders here that we have recently assembled a team to continue to work in this area and trying to apply for larger SCRI, that is a specialty crop research initiative grant, uh, again, to continue this kind of work. And um, I really appreciate the help that we have already gotten from the industry here and the commission and the researchers who are working in, um, in this area and we'll certainly look for more collaborations and support uh, throughout this process of applying for the grant and as well as implementing the project should we get the funding um, sometimes next year. With that, um, I don't think we need a lot of introduction in terms of why it is important. Um, uh, what I've heard from a lot of growers around here and in the other states is that um, pruning and tying and bundling of canes in, in red raspberries and, and for that matter other kind of cane berries is, an, uh, is a really labor intensive task and automating or mechanizing that operation would help a lot in terms of the uh, dealing with the shortage of labor, uh, increasing the uh, profitability and in the long term sustainability of the industry. Um, here in Washington and certainly um, other states around the country. Um, that's why we've been looking at this problem again last a few years uh, uh, and we've talked to a lot of you throughout the process and we have tested some of our um, mechanisms, um, kind of an initial or preliminary prototypes and then again we'll continue to do that uh, through some other funding if we're, if we're successful. So today I'll be presenting whatever results we have gotten so far um, based on these initial fundings and preliminary work we have done in this area. First, let's talk a little bit about how we designed a bundling mechanism. Um, this is a kind of a very simple concept of having two augers, like two little arms that can close around um, something, and in that case, some, something meaning the canes that are there in a the hill of the red raspberry plants. Uh, it's operated by um, certain uh, a few hydraulic cylinders, and when we pressurize these cylinders, they're, they're extending, and that is bringing these arms together to to kind of bundle the scattered cans together. And the very initial form of this little tool looked like something like this. Um, we tested it in the field with. Um, uh, some uh, test plots we have uh, developed or planted and maintained in Prother, which is certainly not, not perhaps not the best place to go grow red raspberries. Uh, but because I am uh, based off of Prother, which is, I don't know, six hours from here, um, it was more convenient to have a little test uh, field around the center I'm at and so that we could test our um, prototypes very frequently and, and improve it over time um, and then eventually we certainly want to bring those here in into the west where we have commercial plots with the real plants that we'd like to work with. Again we tested in the research field that was um, established only recently about three years old now and then um, based on this evaluation 
um, this initial prototype was able to bring together a few canes, about seven, um, five to seven of those together based on the design we had. Um, it was successful to bring about 90% of the canes um, through uh, however many hills we tested. Um, and uh, through this process, we have a horticulturist helping us in terms of evaluating any effects on the plant, uh, cane damage or otherwise, and we did not see any um, adverse effects due to this kind of mechan mechanized operation. So we have um, kind of a randomized block design with uh, many different varieties and, and different blocks being used by uh, uh, used for mechanical tying and different blocks used for hand tying and there is some comparison uh, to make sure um, how is it performing. And again, based on that, we didn't see any significant damage to the canes. That's the first version of the um, bundling mechanism. In addition to that, we uh, developed a tying mechanism to wrap a tape around it. Uh, the design included a holding mechanism and a cutting mechanism that uh, would uh, hold a tape that is being wrapped around the, the cane, canes that were brought together by the uh, bundling mechanism. And then um, there are some belts and bully, uh, pulleys, uh, as we can see in this uh, 3D design, uh, to again uh, rotate a uh, wheel around the canes to tie or wrap a, uh, adhesive tape um, around those canes. Um, while we are designing this mechanism, we also um, physically or, or manually measured the diameter of uh, a number of canes when they are brought together or the uh, bundled together using our bonding mechanism that help us estimate how big of the um, roller wheel we may need to um, go around and, and wrap this tape. As we can see uh, some of the data here. So with this tying mechanism, um, as you can see, it was developed in, in the lab first with uh, certainly some electronics there, some control systems, some motors, and some 3D printed parts. All these plastic parts were 3D printed and they're assembled. Uh, certainly motors, the um, electric motors were not um, something printed, but everything else was printed. They're assembled together. And that's how uh, prototype development is fast, and we could repeat through the cycles quite, quite easily and quite um, quickly uh, at low cost. And again, to drive this wheel, we have some uh, uh, gear mechanism also printed using the 3D printer, and then we use this to again tie this kind of adhesive tape um, around these canes. Um, through these initial tests of bundling mechanism and tying mechanism, we got some information in terms of the size, the shape, some other design parameters that were then improved. Um, our initial versions of prototypes were um, generally too small to um, go around uh, larger hills or, or hills with a larger number of canes and that's why in this uh, revised version or improved version we increased the size and we improved other design parameters and then we integrated them together um, meaning the bundling mechanism and the tying mechanism are now installed on top of each other and then they were installed in a tractor using uh, uh, three-point sheets and then uh, operated using the tractor hydraulics. And in the field um, operation, this, this is the machine we see here with the tractor there uh, pulling behind it the uh, tying and, and bundling and tying mechanism. Closer look, we can see the bundling mechanism is around the canes, uh, bringing them together. And then after that operation is done, the, um, the roller wheel goes around it to, to wrap the tape around.
Um, and the end of the process, the bundle looks something something like that in this last picture here. So this mechanism was tested again in this test field that we have now. Uh, this was tested uh, this last uh, winter. Uh, so our plants are now, I think, about three years old. Um, a little bit bigger hills than before, um, a little bit more number of canes. Um, still, this does not look as uh, um, very close to what we have here. I have visited the industry here a number of times with, uh, with some of you and have discussed a lot about this, this concept. Um, again, our plants, they are not um, as uh, well developed and as big in terms of canopy size and number of canes as it is here, but it's still for, our, for the testing purpose, it is providing a very good uh, playing ground. We, um, with this integrated barneling and tying mechanism, we went to the field and um, tested about 50 plants of three different varieties. Those varieties include Meeker, uh, Wakefield, and Seminus, maybe my pronunciation and, and perhaps the spelling here is not uh, as I see now, may not be accurate, but um, we have five or six different varieties. We tested in three different varieties. We tried it in two different locations. So one is in the about a foot above the ground, and another uh, not, or the, the tying was uh, about three to four feet above the ground. And <clears throat> after all these uh, tests, uh, we found that about 97% of the canes were brought together by the bundling mechanism, meaning out of these 50 uh, hills and uh, probably, I don't know, about 400 canes, um, uh, about 97% of those canes were brought together. Um, some canes, I'll talk about that in a little bit, some canes which were really lying on the ground um, or otherwise uh, really heavily dispersed from the center of the hill were not uh, brought together. Uh, so about 3% of that was missed. Out of uh, as many um, tying we, we, we tried, about 83% of the times we were successfully uh, completing that uh, tying mechanism that uh, holds these canes together. Um, that hold together was just for, um, let's say, a few hours of the tying process. We have gone back to see if these tapes are loosening and the canes are kind of uh, uh, going off, but we have not seen very significant uh, changes over time, but we don't have the, the, the real data. Uh, this data, 83% here, is the initial uh, cases of successes. Um, that 17% that we said we were not successful uh, comes from a few things uh, as, we, we, as we discuss in, in our next, uh, in this next slide. Um, but before, before going to that, I want to emphasize that um, this tying and bundling, uh, or bundling and tying mechanisms are somewhat variety dependent because of the uh, the biological variability in how these canes are, canes are growing, um, these mechanisms, the way we develop and tested, are more successful in some varieties than others. For example, it worked uh, much better with uh, minus and, and meeker varieties and was not as successful with Wakefield. And perhaps uh, you know better than me in terms of how they grow. This and what I've seen and what I've heard, um, Wakefield canes are not as upright uh, compared to these other varieties, and that, that again plays a role in, because we are not yet lifting canes from the ground, which is our next uh, part process. We are uh, in our next proposal, we're proposing to develop mechanism that would lift the canes from ground. Uh, that would be more applicable for blackberries as well, but even for red raspberries, when there are varieties with canes going everywhere, we can start from the almost the ground, bring them up, bundle them together, and then tie something around it. 
Now, in terms of uh, the challenges in the current design, um, first of all, the mechanical aspect of it had some limitations, which can be improved through improved engineering and manufacturing. Uh, for example, the uh, 3D printed part sometimes would not uh, fit exactly, uh, meaning there was more tolerance than, or more gaps between parts than um, it would be necessary. If it were, a, a, let's say, metallic or some more fine engineered parts, that problem could easily be solved, uh, which can be, again, done in the next versions without any problem, next prototypes without any problem. So out of 17% failures, about uh, one third of those cases were due to the um, impreciseness of these mechanical components. The another problem about one third was due to the tips that we use not sticking uh, very well. So we predefined about, I think, three or four revolutions around the canes and assumed that would be enough to hold these canes together, but in some cases, it was not sufficient to hold these canes, particularly when there are too many of those and they're quite uh, uh, tight. Uh, these tapes were not strong enough to hold them. So that was another problem, which again can be easily improved with uh, different types of perhaps stronger adhesive tapes. But at the same time, we have also discussed this with the, uh, the uh, uh, growers around here and other um, stakeholders, and there is an interest of actually going beyond adhesive tapes and trying to uh, replicate how we do it right now with these strings and manual tying process, uh, which is also very uh, likely to do it and it's not that complicated to do because we already know there are uh, a few different these kind of mechanisms being developed for some other purposes we have also developed a robotic system for uh, hop twining and that also includes tying knots uh, with these strings so we have this background and and a few prototypes developed in other applications that we can bring to this um, uh, to address this problem. So that is the part of uh, tying something around it. Now, natural characteristics of canes, there are two parts. One is, again, I mentioned earlier, uh, some varieties, the canes were dispersed more widely than others. So we need to be more creative in terms of, and more, more innovative in terms of developing mechanisms to deal with that. The one more issue with the uh, cello tape or the adhesive tapes going around these canes was that in some varieties there were sharp thorns that would poke these tapes and cut them open and break them so that it would not be able to fold. That's another problem again which we could probably improve with better tapes. But again, if we move away from tapes and develop some other mechanisms, it would not for us be as challenging. Um, that's where we stand right now. Um, just to summarize, uh, we developed a few uh, novel uh, mechanisms to bundle canes together and tie a tape, an adhesive tape around it. Uh, more than 95% of the canes were successfully bundled and about 83% of the uh, heels that we tested were successfully tied at two different locations. Um, no effect on of mechanical tying and bundling on canes. When I say no effect, uh, it's very minimal effect. I think numerically or quantitatively, there was one or two cases where we broke a cane out of about I don't know, 300 canes or so we, we um, work with. Um, so we're saying that's almost negligible. There are one or two which were uh, bruised a little, and, and our, our collaborators told us that that was not a significant problem in terms of uh, um, any uh, uh, growth or development in the future. Um, with that, I don't know how I'm doing in terms of time. Um, I have a quick video um, 
if there is time uh, shouldn't be um, it's the same concept I just dis described it's in a quick video and that we can kind of uh, get a better feel of And this is not the best video. There are some uh, measurements and a few other things, and then and then it does not work anymore. Maybe it's it's because the the video is quite heavy. It's not loading as as fast. Um, the speed has not been optimized. This is just the proof of concept. Um, so it goes quite slow, but it still shows how the mechanism is working. Um, with better designs, with better motors, we can certainly increase that speed very, very uh, to, to the level we want. Uh, we know these motors can be really fast, as fast as our hard drive, mechanical hard drive, for example. So currently we have one switch that is being manually pressed and after that this mechanism goes in, brings the cans together and then sends this another mechanism to go around and, and wrap a tape around it. And then at the end of the process there is a scissor that cuts the tape apart and releases it from the cans. So with that, any questions? Anyone have any questions? I'm going to ask, uh, we're going to change it up a little bit and have you people, if you do have questions, come up to these two mics in the aisles. Anybody? Well, in that case. And if you have it much. anytime in the future, there is my email address right there. And again, thank you very much. And I'll be communicating with a lot of you more frequently as we build this prop proposal that we're trying to build. And then if we're successful in funding again, I'll be here more frequently than I'm already. Um, and we'll be really looking forward to working with you guys. Thank you. All right, um, before I hand it over to Alan and Henry for the Strawberry Commission, um, I just wanted to plug we're having a social hour right after this, um, this session at 5 p.m. It's just right next door. Um, we're going to have some... I'll hand everything over to Henry for the future of the Washington Strawberry Commission. Okay, thank you for coming uh, on this riveting topic, right?